Day Online is a game development studio that has been founded 12 years ago. Uh, we have over 24 uh, titles, both for browser and uh, mobile games. We have over 40 million uh, registered users uh, from 194 countries and we've been translated over 30 languages. So we're uh, a truly global company. What's interesting about inter our industry is that uh, we develop free-to-play games, which means that uh, the user will give you one chance and one chance only for, uh, to like your product. It's not like you go to the store and you buy uh, whatever, the game and you come home and you don't like it, but you've already bought it. In our case, people come and register, they get into the game, and if something annoys them, regardless whether it's the UI, the UX, the, the speed that the game performs, they just click, close, close the browser, and they're gone. If you don't perform well, you're dead in the water before you, uh, before you even start. So actually, uh, in our business, one of the most important aspects is the, the technology that you put behind it besides the, the visual, the, um, well, the idea in general. Prior to embrace uh, virtualization, we are using uh, locally installed uh, write controllers with a mixture of uh, hard drives and solid state um, disks. Um, also, we tried some uh, hardware sounds from various uh, vendors. Well, there is never one main base reason. There's always a combination. You will have a great company, they'll have one, two, three things. They might be a perfect technological solution, but then uh, the support isn't there. Or the support is there, but they're not agile enough. So we are a very agile company. We develop everything on the fly. This is our entire uh, corporate culture is such. And when we decide to work with someone, we want to work with someone who actually is there for you. And when we, because it's like basically the most important thing we can possibly trust to anyone, our storage. <laughs> and this thing you want to give to someone that if you have a problem, you can pick up the phone and someone's going to be there. If you have a problem, you write an email, someone's going to respond. Uh, if you want something to be changed, to be up to your uh, specifics that you're using, this, this will be response. So uh, besides the, the technological edge that the Storpo has, what we saw was actually uh, a partner. So this was the most important to us. After we make some uh, tests, uh, we find that uh, Storpool gave us the, the best performance for our application, um, very good support and advisory and fair pricing after all. Technical expertise, flexibility and easy process of planning and deploying played a huge role when we chose Storpool. We are running a never sleeping game played in the whole world, so we have a very uh, high demand for a fault tolerance where the redundancy is a must. We are more flexible um, in terms of uh, disk arrangement and topology. You can scale much more easily uh, capacity and IOPS wise, and you have an ability for fine tuning uh, for redundancy, uh, even an off-site online backup. Our stack is uh, based on uh, more than 200 uh, hardware servers. Um, we have uh, on the top level um, Linux, Apache, PHP and MariaDB. And on the bottom level we have uh, uh, virtualization with uh, Open Nebula, uh, Storpool, and um, KVM. We implemented uh, pure SSD uh, cluster with uh, a triple replication backed with uh, 10 gigabit network, um, fully, fully redundant. We have uh, more than uh, 50 hypervisors and Currently, more than 350 virtual machines and still counting as uh, we are not uh, done with our migration. Our application and hardware stack was uh, powerful enough to serve our clients, but we decided to reduce the loading time and uh, 
so the response of our pages. Um, so we, at the end of the day, we achieved uh, the average milliseconds about uh, 200 and three, to 300 down to 75 to 100 uh, milliseconds per page. One of the biggest features we've got with this uh, shared uh, storage is uh, online migration of virtual machines between hypervisors. When we sat down with the client, with the, with the colleagues a year ago, we started thinking how can we make our service uh, both highly available, the availability to be almost perfect, and to be almost instant as a, as a speed. And we decided to move from uh, what we had as a complicated solution that we had built ourselves as a private cloud where we serviced uh, um, our game to start moving it to something uh, much more uh, immersed where we have all our servers virtualized and this thing to step on something that is really solid uh, as, um, as um, management of the of, uh, storage. So what we did was we experimented with a couple of solutions but the best one was uh, store pools and uh, little by little over the next one year thanks to that technology and thanks to our engineers we were able to build our own private cloud with virtual machines which were able to service the game four times faster than the closest uh, competitor we have and to have almost perfect availability. Actually since we implemented the solution I don't believe we've been offline. So I, I would say that this was a, a great uh, fit and very successful uh, decision we made a year ago and I would recommend it to anybody. Where gaming is going right now, which is always available, always alive, always uh, you, you have to have always access to and people take it for granted. You need to have that kind of technology. You need to have the SDS technology there so you can actually keep uh, the player is engaged all the time and safe. Basically, there is nothing worse that can possibly happen to you is to lose the information that uh, you've built up over the past decade, say, uh, about your game. Um, our services are very data-driven. We do a lot of big data analysis. And if for some horrible reason we lose that data, this is really going to be quite a hit to our business. And that's true for every gaming studio out there. So yes, this technology can solve, uh, if not solve, it can help, it can give the edge to gaming companies uh, in their com competition against the rest. I, I think it's, it, it has a huge future for uh, one very simple reason. It gives uh, great performance uh, on the cost performance ratio. What you actually get for what uh, uh, it costs you it's just, uh, it, it's not even comparable to anybody out there. So actually this thing gives a great edge to any gaming company not to have to worry whether it can have access to the highest and best technology out there, but it has to, can actually stop worrying about that and start thinking about their core business, which is making games.